Let's start solving this problem by calculating some numbers that will be useful as we go through it. First, we can find the moment of inertia for the hollow sphere. That equals two-thirds its mass times its radius squared. Substitute the sphere's mass and its radius and calculate to see its moment of inertia is 0 0.461 kilogram meter squared. Then we're told the angle theta as a function of time. If we take its derivative, we can find the magnitude of the angular velocity omega. And taking the derivative of the angular velocity gives us the angular acceleration. So that magnitude is shown here. We're asked in parts A and B to evaluate quantities when t equals 3 seconds. So before we do that, let's calculate omega and alpha at t equals 3 seconds by substituting that value for t. And you find that omega, the angular speed at 3 seconds, is 128 radians per second. That's how fast it's rotating. And alpha at t equals 3 seconds is equal to 122 radians per second squared. That's the magnitude of the angular acceleration. Part A asks for the magnitude of the sphere's angular momentum. That's capital L. And it equals the moment of inertia I times the angular speed omega. Substitute those values and calculate, finding that it equals 59.0 kilogram meter squared per second. Part B asks for the net torque on the sphere. The net torque is the same as the sum of all the torques, and in this case it equals the moment of inertia I times the magnitude of the angular acceleration alpha. Substitute the numbers and calculate, finding that it equals 56.2 newton meters.